G'day guys, just another little history lesson for you. Um, I'm out of queue in the Murchison. This little history lesson is a bit self-indulgent because it's surveying based, which is my chosen profession. Uh, this pile of rocks behind me is actually a survey can. These survey cans were established by the early surveyors, who were all the early explorers, um, back in the you know 1850s, 1860s, 1870s, all the way through to the early 19, you know, 20s. Uh, these survey cans were put in to assist in the accurate cartographic mapping of all this land when it was first explored so that when the next crew of uh, settlers and so on came out here, they had accurate maps to work off. So they knew where the water was, they knew where the gold was found, they knew where the good grazing lands were. And so they, the explorers and surveyors would go out, map the land accurately using these survey cans, which were known as trick points. These trick points, trigonometry triangles, would be on hilltops, every prominent hilltop as far as the eye can see. And then they would, using old methods with theodolite and whatnot, they would shoot distances and bearings. From that, they could get accurate readings to create accurate maps. Those accurate maps were then used to give to the, the settlers and the other following pastoralists to come out when they came out so they wouldn't get lost and they'd know exactly where to go and where to settle and yeah, whatnot. Some of the more famous characters to build these survey cans were John Forrest, his younger brother, Robert Austin, Alfred Canning, they're all pretty well-known names. John Forrest was obviously the West Australia's first premier. Um, in all honesty, I'll check, but I think this one here was actually established by John Forrest. And yeah, they are all the way through the country, up into the Kimberley, from Perth, all the way down to Esperance, everywhere. They were all used to create the first ever maps of Western Australia with accurate landmarks. And you know, for a pile of rocks, the old survey methods, they got to win in two or three metres, which is pretty incredible for 150 years ago. Whereas now, obviously with the advent of GPS and whatnot, we're getting it within you know, 20, cent, uh, 20 mil. That's it, bit of survey information.